Hi all, it's me Vinci here. So today I have come here to discuss about gynec, okay? And uh, today our topic is pelvic abscess. When I say abscess, it means pus formation, all right? So pelvic abscess is a life-threatening condition, which means if it is not treated, the person can even die, okay? And it's a, it which uh, this is a life-threatening condition, which lead to rupture, sepsis, and poor prognosis. Okay, even though we get treatment, the prognosis is very poor. Okay, now what are the etiology which can end up in pelvic abscess is any infection of lower genital tract. Okay, for example, I can say pelvic inflammatory disease which we already discussed. Then trauma, okay, or any um, um, risk factors such as <clears throat> multiple sexual partners, sexual transmitted diseases through chlamydia and gon gonorrhea and also uh, any complications of any post-operation. For example, we can say hysterectomy, okay, or uh, any openings of the fallopian tube or tubectomy for uh, cutting the tube, fallopian tube and all, okay. So as the surgical complication also pelvic abscess can occur, okay. And even ectopic pregnancy is also a cause. Fine. So, I hope we all have discussed about the etiology. Let's move on to the pathophysiology. So, uh, due to etiological factor, we are keeping as a pelvic inflammatory disease as an etiological factor. Okay. So, for example, to, due to etiological factor, uh, complication of pelvic inflammatory disease which the infection starts of the lower genitourinary tract. When the infection starts, it will be in ascending order. Okay. So, once the bacteria enters, it will be like from the vagina, it will move to the cervix, from there to the uterus, fallopian tube, and then to the peritoneum. Okay, the infection goes in a, or the infection starts in an ascending order. Then, uh, once it is, the uh, bacteria reach this, once the infection or the bacteria gets multiplication and all, it will damage the epithelium. Okay, it will damage the epithelium and since of that, there will be edema, pus formation and signs and symptoms. Okay, pathophysiology is okay, clear. Moving on to the clinical manifestation, as pelvic abscess only says that there will be pus formation. So already the clinical manifestation will be pus formation, edema will be there, irregular menstrual cycle, okay, abdominal cramping pain. As it is an infection, fever will be there, nausea, vomiting, malaise will be there, okay, vaginal discharge, vaginal bleeding, okay, retention of urine will be there and also there will be a change in the bowel pattern, okay. So, clinical manifestations was edema, pus, retention of urine, change in bowel uh, habits and bleeding of vagina and all, okay. Diagnostic evaluation, history collection, physical examination will be done. A thorough physical examination will be done. Exa for a, a thorough examination of the abdominal, of the vagina, as well as the rectal examinations. Okay. Then USD will be done of abdominal. Okay. Uh, abdominal and pelvis USD will be done. CT and MRI. Uh, blood test will be done for uh, a CBC as well as blood culture. Okay, to know that which bacteria has uh, entered and which bacteria is causing the infection. Wet mouth test for vagina, uh, vaginal discharge, okay, will be done. Then pregnancy test will be done. Uh, it is usually to rule out whether the person is having uh, ectopic pregnancy or IUDs. IUD is intrauterine devices which prevent the pregnancies. For example, I can say copper tea, uh, then uh, lip loops. Okay, so these all are the instruments which we insert, okay, to prevent the pregnancy. That is known as IUDs, okay. So, to rule out that, we will be doing pregnancy test, okay. Then moving on to the management. Medical management. Uh, see, as we know, it is an infection, okay. And we discuss like bacteria will be there, right. So, as per the cause, we will be giving the treatment. Uh, initially, we will be starting with the broad spectrum antibiotics, okay. And later, we will be moving on to the combination of clindamycin and metronidazole, okay. And then, symptomatic treatments we can be giving, okay. So, for taxin will be given for the patient to, uh, through parenteral route, hmm? Then symptomatic treatment as the patient is having fever, vomiting, chills and all. So as per that and even dehydrations and all will be there. So for that, we will be giving uh, as per the symptom. Uh, then the person is having bleeding. 
right so the, there is a chance of person getting anemic so blood transfusion also be done Sim surgical management will be like INT incision and drainage will be done okay or we will be removing that part like the pus area will be removed okay removal of the pus area fine I hope you all understood this was all about pelvic abscess take care and bye